Hey guys, I'm back today with a haul video. It's been a little bit since I filmed a haul, but um, I've I haven't done like a huge amount of shopping, but I've been just picking up a little bit here and there from different stores and I gathered it all together and thought I would just share it with you today. Um, plus also I found a really amazing deal today at Sephora, so I wanted to share it with you guys in case you're interested in picking it up for yourself. But before I begin into my actual haul, I wanted to let you guys know I just got a puppy. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen pictures of him, but he is an 11 week old Basset Hound and his name is Oaken and he's so adorable. Um, I brought him up here to say hi to you guys, but he was really, really nervous because he's not used to this room yet. We're still kind of training, potty training him and getting him used to our home. So he pretty much spends 90% of his time in our living room where he's um, kind of getting acquainted with that still. So anyway, I did bring him up and have him say hello. I'll ins insert a short clip, but he got too nervous, so I had to refilm the intro. So anyway, hey guys, so this is Oaken. He is a Basset Hound, and he is 11 weeks old right now, and we just got him a few days ago. So he's very new to our family. He's nervous right now. He's kind of shaking because he's not used to this room yet. But anyway, so this is what's been keeping me busy, this little girl right here. Say hi, Oaken. Say hi! Back to the haul. So I'm gonna actually start out with the item that I picked up today from Sephora because like I said, it's a really, really good deal and I know it's gonna sell out super fast. So if you're interested in getting this deal, head over to your Sephora like right away. Um, the Sephora that I picked it up in is actually inside of JCPenney's and I don't know if this deal is at freestanding Sephora's as well but um, it's worth a try if you're interested in checking it out. Maybe run into your store and see if they have it. Otherwise, if you have a Sephora in your JCPenney, I would definitely go there um, to see if they have it. So this is the Kat Von D Chrysalis Palette. I've been wanting this palette and the Monarch Palette for the longest time, but they're a little bit pricey. They are $46 retail price, um, but they have these on clearance for $19.99. So there's a the little clearance sticker right there. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera, but um, this palette looks amazing. It's, um, oh, and just in case you're wondering, I asked, the Monarch palette is still full price, but this one, they're no longer going to be carrying inside Sephora at the JCPenney, so um, this is the one that was clearanced down to the $19.99. But anyways, as you can see, it's all cool tones and the color range on this just looks incredible. I am super, super excited to break into this guy. So like I said, if you're interested in this palette, definitely see if your store is carrying that deal as well. So that is what I picked up today at Sephora. And I was in there just actually a few days ago. Um, also for a Kat Von D item. I went in there a few days ago because I wanted to pick up the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I do have the Shade and Light Contour Palette and I heard so many people talking about this palette on YouTube that I just decided I needed... This is the wrong palette. I just realized. This is the one I'm supposed to be talking about. Anyway, so I got this palette. Um, so many people were talking about it, and I saw a lot of tutorials, and people were saying really good things about it, so I wanted to pick it up. Um, again, it's all neutral colors in this palette, and they're all mattes. I don't believe there's anything even with any kind of shimmer to it. Um, but you've got some cooler tones in here, as well as some warmer tones, and there's just a big variety of shades and a lot of looks that you can come up with from this one palette all by itself. So I'm very excited to um, to have this one in my collection as well. I also made a order on Sephora online when um, I had a gift card to use. I'm not going to show you everything I got, because one of the things I got is a gift, and I... Um, my mother-in-law sometimes watches these videos, so I don't want to give anything away because Mother's Day is coming up, but I did pick up this blush for myself also. This is the Tarte um, Amazonian, 12 hour, Amazonian Clay 12-hour blush in Charisma, and this color is just a really, really nice kind of a um, peachy neutral color, but it looks really nice on the skin. It does have a slight shimmer to it, but it's kind of a natural looking blush, so this is like an everyday kind of blush. Um, so I picked that up from 
online. Then I also recently made a Poshmark purchase. Um, I've been really active on Poshmark, Mark, I can't say that very well. I've been very active on Poshmark recently. Uh, I've been trying to get rid of some things that I just don't have a use for and then I've been turning in my credits to buy mostly makeup that I've been wanting for a while. So I finally got my hands on this little guy. This is from It Cosmetics. This is the Naturally Pretty Palette and um, all the shades in here are matte, once again, um, but it has this transforming pearl shadow right here that is just going to glare at you guys, I'm sorry, um, which you're supposed to be able to put that over the top of any of the shadows, and it's supposed to kind of transform it into a more like pearlescent color. Um, I've played around with it a little bit. I'm not so sure about this transforming powder. It's not working the way... Um, they kind of describe it as working so far for me, but um, I've only used it a couple of times, so I'm definitely excited to try this guy out more. But yeah, Poshmark, if you're not on Poshmark, I'll link it below because you can find some amazing steals on Poshmark. So this was a used palette, but um, it's barely been touched, as you can see. I don't know if you're gonna actually be able to see that that great, but a couple of the colors don't look like they were ever even touched at all. And I think, what did I pay for this? And I only paid $24 for this, so I think that's a really good deal. Also, um, I have a Walmart that is really close to me. I used to never shop there because it was really far to go, and the Walmart that I had near me previously was really, unkept I'll say it was very dirty I didn't like shopping there I didn't feel comfortable in that store um, but the one here is very clean it's very well stocked the people are very friendly so I have been shopping there a little bit and I was excited to go try out this um, flower brand which they only carry at Walmart it's the only place that you can find it um, and they have a wide variety of products. I believe the founder of the company is uh, Drew Barrymore is the one that actually founded the company. So I was excited to just kind of test out their products. So I picked up these um, lip glosses and I got four shades. I think there were six shades available and I picked out four. They're $8 a piece, which I thought was a little bit pricey for a drugstore lip gloss. Um, but I wanted to give them a try and I was actually going to do a review on these because these are a new product in their line. But I opened one and tried it and I really hate the formula on these. They're so sticky, like I couldn't get past the stickiness. I think I'm actually going to end up returning the rest of these because the formula is just overly sticky. When I had this on, it actually lasted really long, but... As I was talking throughout the day, I could just, my lips were like sticking together, very tacky, and it just bothered me too much. It wasn't a slight stickiness. It was a pretty, a pretty bad one. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to actually end up returning these because I was really unhappy. So I'm not really going to do a review unless you guys want a full review, but I pretty much just gave you my opinion on them. So that's the only thing that I got from Walmart. And then I have just a couple other things to share with you guys. So I also made a stop at my local Dollar Tree. I wanted to check them out and see what kind of a selection they have. And I did post some um, Instagram pictures of that as well. Um, my store was very understocked the day that I went. So I don't know if they're always picked over, but there was like a lot of those little hangy tag things that were completely empty of product. And the product just looked very, very picked over. So it could be just the day of the week that I went and maybe they just needed more stock or if they're always that way, that's gonna be kind of a bummer. But um, I did pick up a couple things, so I wanted to show you guys what I got. The main thing I went there for actually was my LA Girl, or I'm sorry, LA Colors Eyeliner, Liquid Liner. This is my favorite liquid liner, and I completely had used mine up, and I didn't have any black liquid liners really left that I liked, so I made a trip there just for this because you really can't beat a dollar, and it lasts a long time, and it's just great. It is what I'm wearing today on my eyes, on my upper lid. Um, and then also I found um, these Revlon nail polishes. These are, I don't know if they have a specific name. They're just Revlon nail polishes. I have a bunch of these and I really like the formula. So I picked up three new colors. This one is called uh, Tahitian Coast and it's like a pink with uh, pink and silver glitter and some chunky glitter in it. And then this one is called uh, Balinese Bay and it's also a pink but it has like blue, pink, and purple glitter in it. It's really, really pretty. 
And then the last one here, this one looks like it's um, a holiday collection. It has like this um, golden spider web on the on the front of it so it must have been for like Halloween this one is called super powered and it's a really pretty shimmery blue I don't have anything like this color so I was excited when I saw that um, and then I also found these at the Dollar Tree these are from the brand white rain which I know they carry their shampoo and conditioner but I haven't seen these before these are the boutique collection facial cleansers this one is a facial cleanser and makeup remover and that's what it looks like and then this one here is a gentle facial scrub I actually got these for my 12 year old daughter because she just recently used up her skincare and I thought maybe we would give these a try and see how they work for her um, but they looked really good and the gal who worked there said she's been hearing good things about them so I just picked them up to give those a try and then the last thing I wanted to share with you guys, I also made a trip to the TJ Maxx here and I just picked up a couple things that I needed. I needed a new facial lotion for at nighttime, so I got this one from H2O. This is the Marine Daily Moisturizer. I haven't used this particular moisturizer before, but I really like the H2O brand, so I thought I would give it a try. And it was, I ripped off the price, but I think it was only like $4.99 or something, so it was really cheap. And then I also found these two Maybelline mascaras while I was there. These were only $2.99 a piece. This is the Volume Express Mega Plush, which I've used this in the past. I really like it. And then I also got this Colossal Eye one. Um, I'm not going to open these right away because I do have some mascaras that I have open that I'm working through, but um, these are kind of like for my backups. That is what I purchased recently. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini haul. Leave me comments down below and let me know what you guys think of it. If you have any video requests that you'd like to see from me in the future, please leave those below also. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. It means so much to me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.